Welcome, beauteous breathers. Please let me know how your week went. I would love to hear all about your breathing exercise that we worked with last week. Did you have a chance to practice it? Did you practice it every day? Did you practice it once? Just let me know how it's going, either in the chat or in the comments, whether you're watching this live or on replay. For all of you who are new, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the little bell to get notified. And that way you'll find out when we get new videos out and when there's cool stuff to enjoy. Anyone who's interested in joining the yoga family at Vidya's Lighthouse for daily classes, you can visit the website at kimvidya.com and check out our new student special there. Got some nice bird sounds here today. So let's start with, what are we going to start with today? A deep breath. So let's just take a full big breath. As we land here together, unifying with our breath. So today's breathing circle is about using our breath with intention. Let's think of the breath like a swing. In and out, expand, contract, fullness, emptiness. It has a continuous rhythmic motion, right? And through that rhythm, we find what we want to work through. And whatever is placed into that swing, swings along with it with the movement of the breath. It's quite powerful. So today's breathing exercise is about breathing for intimacy and or self-compassion. So you're gonna place your issue, whatever that issue is that you're working with right now, we're gonna put that into our swing and breathe life force into it. So for self-intimacy, what we're going to do is place our hands together, just like we would in prayer pose, anywhere in front of you, so it doesn't have to be up here, it could be relaxed in your lap, anywhere that's comfortable. Make sure you uncross your legs and place your feet flat on the floor. For those who are going to be working as a couple, uh, you're going to place your right palm down, facing each other, your left palm up, and you can sit face to face, either cross-legged or in a chair. With each exhale, you're gonna empty through the right hand with intention. Don't forget, with each inhale, you're going to receive the energy and the breath through the left hand. Using three-part ujjayi breath with horizontal breathing. So something to keep in mind here with our breathing is that we want to make sure that we're using the horizontal breath. So we're not using that shallow breathing where we come up into the chest area. Think about placing your hands on your rib cage and breathing into them just to remind you, refresh your memory on that horizontal type of breath. We're also going to be working with Ujjayi breath. So if you're new to the breathing circle, definitely check out the 10 day, which is actually 11 days of preparation. And that will give you all the details on how, why we do it this way. The Ujjayi breath is a generating breath. So we're going to be generating energy. We're going to be bringing prana, inviting prana into this uh, breathing circle. It's actually a circular breathing as well, which is kind of cool since we're at the breathing circle here. Um, and remembering also that to use your three part breath. So from the lower belly to the rib cage, all the way up to the top, three dimensional breathing horizontally. Okay. So if you're breathing on your own today, we're going to be taking our hands together in palm to palm, fingertip to fingertip. So keep this with intention. So we're not just kind of uh, like, uh, like a dead fish. We're, we're, <laughs> we are intending to be together. So we're placing our palms together. So that's the same thing if you're with a partner, 
place your hands together with intention. Look into each other's eyes, or you can close your eyes if that feels better, but make sure that the legs are not crossed and the feet are flat on the floor, unless you're sitting cross-legged, okay? So taking your position, whichever you are choosing for today, we're gonna begin with Anapana meditation. So witnessing the natural flow of the breath. So let's just take a minute, closing your eyes, tuning in. Taking a moment to feel the breath as it comes in and as it goes out. As it comes in, as it goes out. Acknowledging yourself as you've shown up here. Feeling your body, your physicality. Tuning into the group. Remembering that we are all here in support of one another, whether you're here now, live, or anytime in the future. Witnessing the in and out breath. Offering yourself 100% focus. Now turning your attention to the mind, noticing what's happening in the mind right now. The thoughts, the emotions, what's arising for you without judgment, without critique. Holding a sense of gratitude in your heart for this time that you have lovingly carved out for yourself. Holding a sense of gratitude for your breath, for your body. And holding that frequency of gratitude in your heart as we begin to work with three-part breath. So we'll start with three-part breath, inhaling into the lowest part of the lungs into the ribs horizontally. Remember, if you need to refresh, just take your hands to your ribs. All the way up across the top, collarbone, back body, three-dimensional breath. Exhale, emptying through the nose if possible. Fully emptying from the top down to the bottom. And again, let's take two more breaths. Simple three-part breath. Full expansion and exhale from the top down, empty. And one last time, inhaling, full expansion and exhaling, empty. So just coming back to your natural breath for a moment and considering your intention. So what are you placing in the breath? What are you placing in that swing? So this could be a situation that needs a little love right now. This could be a word that is inspiring for you, or a thought, a phrase, a quote. What do you 
want to bring more of into your life? What are you working on right now? So just holding that for a moment in your heart and in your mind. We're going to place that into our breath swing with intention. So for our next three cycles, we're going to work with horizontal three-part breath and we'll invite Ujjayi, creating sound, vibration at the back of the throat, narrowing the passageway, creating sound, just like the ocean wave. So starting with an exhale, empty the lungs, and inhale, full expansion. Right to the top and emptying to the bottom. Right to the top. Remember to sit tall to create that space for the lungs to expand. to your natural breath, noticing whatever is arising for you on all levels, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, just aware. Beautiful. Okay, preparing for the exercise. So, breathing with our intention, throwing that into the swing of the breath. Set up, whether you're with a partner or on your own. Now, keeping in mind here, I also wanted to mention, this does not have to be a romantic partner. This could be a mother, a brother, a sister, a father, a best friend. Anyone who you feel connected with and who you may want to work through something with. So it could be even a business partner. So placing whatever that issue is into your net breath of net. So here we go. Starting with an exhale, empty. And also, before we go, Remember, if you're on your own here, palms are together. So if you like, you could have the palms here at your heart, or you could just relax them down. So starting with an exhale, empty the lungs, and begin. So as you exhale, it's emptying out through the right hand. As you inhale, it's drawing in through the left hand. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the left. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the left. And continue. Exhale through the right. All the way to the bottom. Inhale through the left, all the way to the top. Exhale through the right. Don't forget your ujjayi. Generating breath. Empty. Find your rhythm. 
Allow yourself to really become enveloped into that rhythm, keeping in mind the strong intention that you placed in your swing, and in that net of safety, trust, and intimacy. As you continue to breathe this way, allow the body, the physicality to become flooded with that intention as you exhale and inhale, drawing that intention in and releasing out as you let go of anything that may be standing in the way, any blockages, any stuck that may be holding you back, holding this flow of prana back from the pure circular flow as it exits, exits through the left through the right and enters, and through, enters the right. through the left. Whether you're working on your own or with a partner, it's moving through you. Deeply aware of all that you're feeling and sensing through this process. Right to the bottom of the breath, inhaling to the top of the breath. We're going to take our last six cycles. Our last cycle here together. Inhale and hold at the top of the breath. Gently releasing the hands, relaxing in any comfortable position. Allowing the breath to find its rhythm once again and settling in, feeling your body, feeling your breath, notice your mind, notice your emotions, notice your heart beating, Holding a sense of gratitude in your heart for this time. For 
this circle for these practices for yourself don't forget to drink your water hydration 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 lots of it preferably within one hour of doing your practice one liter of high quality preferably spring water if you have it available get it from the source and I look forward to seeing you again next week please do write me a love note in the comments or in the chat I love to hear from you and also think about it as a way of stepping forward into the circle to place your energy there to allow us all to connect. It's a very powerful thing. <sighs> what else do I have to share? I hope you're feeling peaceful. I hope you're feeling more connected. I hope you have a wonderful remainder of your day. And I look forward to seeing you again next time. So much love. Don't forget, breathing deeply is like little love notes to your body, to your mind, and to your heart. We'll see you next time.